Hi there, Mark here from ADSR. Today I'm going to show you another tutorial in Absinthe, my second one. We're going to get a little bit more complicated with this one. What I plan to do is do a lot of videos on many different things, of course, but one of the things I'm going to look at are evolving pads. Um, not evolving pads, evolving soundscapes, sounds, I guess, that some of them will be pads, probably. What I'm going to do today is start off with a, generally with a very basic evolving sound over a quite a short space of time. As you can see there, it's only going to be four bars long. But what this is going to allow me to do is introduce you to some of the principles involved in this type of sound creation. And generally it's very long envelopes, although it doesn't have to be very long envelopes because there's other methods of doing that. But I'm going to start basic and then over the coming weeks and months, I will evolve the evolving sound videos to get more and more complex and cleverer, and we'll just see where we go, really. So today, I'm just going to start with the basics, really. So I'm just going to file new sound. I'll just pop that into there, and I'll just make sure that's the only one we're using. Okay. So initially, we're just going to start... We're going to have three oscillators, but I'll turn those off for the moment. So the first oscillator is just going to be a single oscillator, but we're going to use uh, the library waves and the analogish preset. And we're going to drop that by 12 semitones or one octave. Okay. We're going to go into the Unitab and pump that up to eight voices. <laughs> I'm just going to lower this a little bit to about minus 2 dB. I'll do it. So that's our primary sound for oscillator 1. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set up the other oscillators. It's just the easiest way to do it. So oscillator 2 is going to be sync granular. It's going to be dropped by 24 semitones. And we're going to use in the morph waves vocal B. Got to love that sound. And we shall just leave it there. We're not going to change anything else. And in oscillator C, we're going to use a single, but we're going to use a noise setting in this one. And it is very digital noise, Absinthe. And we are going to drop this by an octave, 12 semitones. And... We'll just leave it at the one voice. All three oscillators on. I guess we'll kind of drop this a little bit. Maybe just by half a dB or so. I'll drop this a little bit as well. Okay, now... I know it doesn't sound that exciting, but the magic is in the envelopes. Now if you go into the envelopes tab, you can see here we have oscillator A, amplitude, envelope B and C. So all three envelopes are there. Now, I've got my absinthe set out to look like that, so I can play a lot with my envelopes. I'm going to sync all three envelopes. Now what I'm going to do is, obviously because I've made this, sound several times before, I know the details of it, but the best way to figure it out is just to really, really experiment. But in this instance, I know the total length is going to be around 16 seconds, and I'm just going to gridlock that to one eighth, and I shall do that to all the other ones. It's actually already done it for me, lovely. Now, in this instance, I'm just going to, I like to remove as many of these points as possible. Okay, so it leaves me with one point, just so I know, just so it's easier um, to start, really. So what this is going to be, it's just really going to ramp up, I guess. So I'm going to kind of take this across to maybe, in fact, I need to, that's, I'm zoomed out far too much. That's enough. So probably round about there. That's what we're looking for. Okay. So, we're just basically going to have this ramping up to there. 
we're gonna have probably uh, we'll use that one and we'll have that coming down like so and we'll have the release popping up and finishing around about 16 so I'll show you what that looks like I'll just turn off the other two oscillators at the moment as we're only working with the amp uh, the amp envelope for oscillator A that's the attack section DK release okay so I'm just going to make that a little bit okay that's not so bad and it's synced so that's good so we hit LFO and now on this I'm going to select the release node I'm going to come up here and I'll leave the depth as it is but I'm going to speed it up quite some because I want when I let go of the 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 keyboard I want it to jump to there and and spin out if you like I'll, you'll hear you'll know what I mean when I I do it listen to this so it speeds up as it spins out now that's maybe just a little bit too fast okay and I'll kind of want the same in this section here and we want to speed this bit up a bit as well but not so much. So yeah, we want those two to be relatively quick, but this bit not so much. And it's just a case of messing around and getting how you feel right. That's more like it. Okay, I'm happy with that. So the next one we're going to deal with, and I'll just turn off and I'll put oscillator B on. Now this envelope, I'm just going to copy this one, so I'll just go to make sure it's the yellow bar. First thing, I'll hold down control and click on OSB so we can see it. I'm just going to edit, copy envelope, click anywhere in the amplitude envelope of oscillator B, and come back up here and select paste envelope. So we now have those two there. Now, however, these two envelopes are going to be very different. Because I want this second envelope, and I don't really want the LFO on at the moment. I want this, the envelope for oscillator B, to kind of be like triggering every now and again. I did think about making it rhythmic, but I decided against it. We can maybe get into something like that later. So I'm just going to pop one about there. Make it up quick, but give it a bit of space coming out. We'll probably put another one here bring that in a bit and just kind of do the same thing bring it in relatively quick but let it take a little bit of time to come out of the envelope yeah that's not bad and then maybe one around about here again in quick bit of time to come out add some more points One there, I guess. Again, in quick. Out relatively slowly. One round about ten. Yeah, that doesn't look so bad. And pop that about there. Bring that up like so. Mm. Oops. Uh, kind of match this one, this section here to the top bit there, and same with this one. And again, I'm going to put the LFO on now, and it should still be kind of similar. Maybe we can adjust the speed and the depth a little bit here. That's not too bad. Let's hear what that sounds like. That's perfect. Okay, that is perfect. That's exactly what we were after. So we then go to oscillator C. Kind of nice. That's noise. It sounds FM to me, but anyway. I'm going to select the top envelope again. I'm going to go to edit, copy envelope, select oscillator C, edit, paste envelope. I'm just going to hold down control. So we've got them all. And oscillator C and oscillator A their envelopes I'm going to leave exactly the same so I'm happy with that 
So let's have a listen to Oscillator C. Okay, so let's have a listen to them all on together. Excellent, I'm happy with that. That's exactly what I was after. So as you can see, we've got this evolving sound and I've put these little bits in here to give it a... It's not rhythmic, there's there's no rhythm, defined rhythm there. It is kind of rhythmic because of the way the sound works, but it's not... I haven't decided to make a an additional rhythm simply by adding these sections here. It's just for point of interest, really. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the effects, let's turn the effects on and I'm going to go to multi-tap, I'm going to take away the master, I don't want it to affect the master, and I'm going to be full B and about that amount we see, and I'm going to leave everything else. So let's hear how that makes, it should it attenuate B. Nice, it's got a nice end to it. And of course these, you could make them a little bit, could bring it up a little bit if you wanted to. Bring that in a little bit quicker, maybe keep the levels up a little bit, perhaps. It might make the sound, this, remain a little bit more dominant. <laughs> So I think that's a great little evolving sound there. Now there is other things that you can do, but as I said, this is just an introduction to what we're going to be doing in the future. This is a very short evolving sound, but hopefully you'll start to see, and of course this is just the amplitude envelopes. In fact, let's just go here and add a filter. Now it's not going to be anything spectacular, and we'll probably just use it to clean up C a little bit. Um, let's use the cloud and transpose it down a bit. Yeah, I love the way that sounds. It's just got this, I don't know what it is, it's tribal, it's, oh, I don't know what, but it just gets me down deep. Anyway, uh, you could add an LFO if you wanted to and do stuff like panning. So if I go back and add them all and go to the master, go to the LFO and go to the master parameters and increase the panning somewhat, that may make the sound sound better to you. But anyway, I think it's a great sound to start off with. So just remember, it's all about the envelopes and what you can do with them. And of course, we're just starting basic. I know you don't have to envelope have envelopes this length. You can use looping and all kinds of different stuff, but that's part of the fun. We're going to go on a little adventure with these envelopes and evolving sounds and see if we can create some real meaningful, evolving, strange weirdness from good old absinthe. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, have a good weekend, and I shall see you next week. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.